Let's play some chess. Taking on Antonio today. Let's play. Okay, going to start with e4. Idea is to try to develop as quickly as possible. I'm going to see if there's something we can exploit. And then try to get some type of ISO on the king. Or we can get maybe some check forks or something like that. I'm going to get this knight out. And it's probably going to either play, either play knight or defend with pawn, most likely. You never know. Oh, these engines are a little different. Let's see what he does here. Thinking was to push this out. But sometimes Antonio likes to push this pawn here. We'll see. Yeah, he did that. So I'm not going to do a ton of pre-moves here unless we get to an end game where I'm pushing pawns. And there's no random checks available. Okay, queen takes, of course. We will kick... No, let's not kick that out. Let's go... We'll kick this out here and we'll see what happens. You could push the pawn down. However, we've got... Oh, that's what we want, really. Not concerned about a check from the bishop there. We can defend with the knight if necessary. Yeah. They're pro he's probably going to pull the bishop and then pen that piece. My, that'd be my guess, anyway. I'd like to try to trap the king, but I don't think that's happening here. I could try something like that. Now the, yeah, because if queen takes, we would just move this. Let's do that. Then I can castle. The knight's pinned, but it's no longer pinned if queen takes. So we'll hit there, and now we'll castle. Maybe we can get a check in and try to get some ISO here. I assume he's taking yeah okay so we got our castle in I thought about trying to trap the queen here by playing like a bishop with discovery but there's only really one knight move if I did that that'd be like here so we'll, we'll see what, what we'll see what he does here Okay, this is good for us because now we can go with the pen. But if he castles, the bishop's exposed. Another option. Oh, great. That's good for us. Another option would be to hit this, go for this, and then we got a fork between these two pieces. I'm going to try that angle. I know I should be developing the bishop, but we're going to go here first. Because I think this could do a lot of damage. If we can get there before Antonio develops. We want to try to set the tone and then... Let's see if we can find an advantage. Plus this... The other thing about knights... Is that basically... It also jams the computer's thinking. Because the computer will see night moves before a player can. So we'll go there. A little fork action, but we've also got this. If necessary there. But I think, yeah, I think we'll be taking with knight here. So we get some material. We can also hit the queen back with a knight here. Or we can play the other knight to there. I know this negates it, but we've got 
yeah, not concerned about that. Although there is a Oh no no we can we, we can yeah we're gonna go block with a pawn I, I know this pawn can be taken here so that and then there's discovery but I think I can get around that we'll see yeah it moved it back there so now you know what I'm just gonna take the loss on the check because I because if I go here. They can push the pawn, and that's discovery. Although, if that happens, though, wait, let me think this through here. I've got this. So maybe it's a good idea to push the pawn. But... My knight is in trouble, isn't it? Uh... Let's just take with a rook. No, wait, that doesn't work. Oh, my knight's in trouble, actually. I think we go here. I'm going to realize my knight's in trouble. Sorry, you can't see all the moves here. I had to set this up in a way we can see the screen, so. Okay, we got a number of options here. I think, oh, we're worried about Discovery still. I think... Oh, wait, 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 I got a trap here. I got a queen trap here. Okay, if I play bishop here, and king takes, I can hit here. It's a double check, and then that would win the queen. Otherwise, we'll move this. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think there's a mate there. I'm taking the queen. And then we can attack that pawn with the queen here. So I'm going to pre move this spot. And then we'll get our rooks involved and we can push this pawn. I think it's kicking the pawn out here or the bishop. Oh, this is a beautiful spot for us. Yeah, we'll see what they do here. Oh, it shouldn't give us a check. Beautiful. And we can come back with the knight. Taking the knight there. Now he's got to move his king, or we can take rook. Okay, okay. Uh, well, yeah, let's get this out. I could go for the pen here. I could play the rook to e7 and pen the bishop. I'm actually okay with just trading too. Let's kick this pawn here. We will just trade if that's what happens. Remember, if this rook moves, and we can get a, a pawn nearby. Okay, going for that. Uh, I guess we're going here. Oh yeah, the fork right there. I forgot about that. Check fork. Nice fork. 
We'll see what Antonio does here. Still forked. And oh, this will be nice here. Let's go. And then we'll take there. And then we can come back with a queen. Taking here. Yeah, I'm going to take with a queen and then I'll come back. I can check with a rook and finish with a mate somehow, probably. Let's see. This might do it right here. Let's check. Let's bring the rook up there. I think that's going to do it there. And then boom. 